Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice orange juice with juicy bits. Freshly squeezed, not by me, by something in the factory. Either way, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We finished off the uh, Rodinos section on the left-hand side. This is Tiss. That was the last section they had, which means they are no longer in existence, as shown by the diplomacy screen there. In fact, I think if we check out our Empire screen, we may even have that in there. Now, yep, there they are. That is what they had. Actually, it might have been that one there. Anyway, that's the Empire of Generic and ourselves. So, overall, pretty happy with progress. We also managed to destroy a couple of things, uh, namely cultists and the... I was going to say space whale. <laughs> That's not the case. It was the uh, float jelly thing, as well as some pirates. So overall, happy there. And in this episode, probably the last episode of this series, but I do plan plan on doing a follow-up one. Um, I want to destroy things like the clockwork wasps and some of the pirates and cultists, etc. And then, obviously, we're going to have to deal with the Sovereign and Onton, which means either diplomatically or maybe not so diplomatically. Anyway, on pause while we crack on with this one. We are Reputation 84, which is loved, so we have nice bonuses there. We have a research complete deep state. Uh, that's the military bureaucracy and the security ministry. That is the highest tier of technology. I want to go for maybe... Hmm... What do we go for? I mean, computers would give us clockwork hazards as well as the computers, and well, that will only take three months to do. Aerial torpedoes will be five months, and quite frankly, <laughs> I really would like some aerial torpedo ships. Let's go to... Uh, actually, we're building the logistics centre here, and then there's the Bluebird repair. Doesn't matter, it's now done. Let's go to build ship, and we can build another Bluebird. we got the Goldfinch, we got the Greenfinch, we got the Owl... Yeah, there's many options. Sparrowhawk I'm trying to move away from because we're very much overusing it. And the Heron we won't be able to do because we're waiting for them. Um, Herring Gull we've had. Honeybees pretty good but also exceedingly slow. The Kite we don't have access to the guided missile technology. The Red Start is something I would like but it's also quite expensive although if we just wait a little bit we probably will be able to deal with that. Anyway, I'm going to head over to the Pirates here which... Um, Oh, that's actually good. So Tuppington, they're actually sending stuff down to the cult. Say Tuppington, it's actually dying. Tuppington was the original, um, was the original place. Hang on, where are they going? Oh, they're t attacking the turtle doves. Oh, they're attacking the turtle doves. Anyway, this is pirates, and we have, oh, these two. Let me let me flee from that. Why we've only got why have we only got the one? Um, we've got all of these in here. That one there. No, there was the two. There was definitely the two. Oh, okay. Maybe I was just, uh, yeah, maybe I just need to wait a little bit longer. Oh, it was so dark, I probably just didn't see it. Um, fair enough. You know what? I'm not really too bothered because with all that time gone, we can now go to build ship. And can we get the kite? We're just shy. Not the, uh, not that, sorry, the red start. It is 2,300. We need another 100. Looks like the forces here are heading to the mad scientist that may work it may not it did work mad scientist has been defeated by dying let's go to build ship and we will get the red star which is a carrier with also an aircraft command deck let's build that one there are new options for that so if we go to build ship sorry design ship we can check out some of the new stuff which i haven't really looked at too much in this series we've got things like the bombard here which is a short wide ultra sorry a short wide bore gun with high explosive incendiary rounds utterly pulverizes anything without armor so yep yeah, that's one of the new things in the game you've also got uh, different options for and well, we've got suspendium cannon there, which is pretty good. We've got also the mechanical tentacles and the acid spitter because we defeated... That was uh, acid brewing that we got. We defeated the jelly... Oh no, gargoyles, I think it was. Gargoyles. But also, if we go to aircraft, we've got Hazard Gatling Skyboat. So this is a bit different, as you can see there. This is a simple, slow-moving flying boat carrying a Gatling gun. And look at that, it's pretty cool. And you can make just like a big row of them like that, and it's low-tier technology. It's only machining tier 3, so it's, well, it's not low-tier, but it's not overly high-tier as well. And indeed, in troops, we now have guard posts, we've got grenadiers, marines, air dragoons, yeah, we've got lots of options there. Anyway, uh, let's just leave that, and we'll leave that without saving. We're going to see if we can build the red start, and then we'll attack. Diplomatic delegation from Dine, bringing moon rocks and float wine. Yeah, let's accept that. <laughs> Here, we will go ahead and 
Oh, there's aerial torpedoes research. I think we'll go for computers now. I think we're going to try and destroy the gargoyles, and that shouldn't be hopefully too much of an issue. We have lost some things though, so this may be a bit more difficult than previous. So what I mean by losing a couple of things is we previously had... We just start the fight here, immediately tell them to move over that. Previously we had in the... The... I'm trying to think of the name now. Uh, Sparrowhawks. <laughs> yeah. The boarding vessels, basically. And those were obviously really good at dealing with these because of the, the cannons that they had. But, not so much here. Instead, well, as you can see, we're just going to have to destroy the church because if we don't, these are going to pick us to absolute pieces. In fact, that's pretty much what's happening. We've got bombarding underway. In fact, we've lost loads of stuff on the left-hand side for the marksman. The marksman has fallen out the sky and probably will be destroyed. The church, however, with all the gargoyles, looks to be pretty much there. I think we'll be all right. We may need to move this one a little bit further forward to get some rear weaponry in and there's going to be pretty much nothing left there that says bullseye and for the emperor that's it uh, that showed them good work lads and that is job done so um research complete is computers because we got plus 100 research and reputation so that's pretty good we've got aerodynamics which will double bomb accuracy extra flamethrower range we've got mech spider guided missiles we've got steel arm blast absorption Suspendium Disruptor. I mean, that's it's ridiculous when you use that, but we haven't messed around with that too much these days. Ship maintenance costs. Cannon reload times. Rocket planes. That's something new. I do think double bomb accuracy. And then head back. But sadly, we've lost, again, some more stuff. Which is a bit of a shame. Over here, the Red Start's getting there. We're going to repair that one. So we've got supply ships and two herring gulls. That's all we've got. That's all we've got to deal with forces there. Large shipyard. Ministry of Security. Plus 20%. Uh, plus 20 spy defense and minus 30 research. Is that? Oh yeah. That's not ideal. Hmm. Spy active. We're going to view this city. Build a spy network. Yep. We've got made new friends there. Which is good. Tuppington. Nothing we can do. Over here. Steel supplies. Why not? <laughs> um, and... We can only... Inspire... Inspire unrest? Yeah. So we don't really want to do. Okay. We can attack the pirates. We have enough supply to get there and indeed get back. So we'll do just that. And... Do we really want to look at the cubes? <laughs> Yeah, the cubes might be the way to go. I am going to build one Sparrowhawk. It's good to have at least one boarding vessel in there, even just for counteracting things. So this is the pirates here. They've got a number of vessels. Let's go to reserve. Yeah, there's one of them there. So where's it put that? It's, it's put it right back there for some reason, and I, I'm not too sure why. So the carrier is going to go right at the back. Start the fight. Um, these guys have launched. Do I really need, do I need to stop them? So obviously I've launched these things, and we do have the advanced command. So land all aircraft, normal aircraft operation, guard and mother ship, only intercept enemy aircraft, and attack enemy ships in buildings. Normal aircraft operation is probably fine, because I don't think... Oh, hang on. No, pull back. Aircraft guard the mother ship. Where are they going? Please don't go close to where there's flak. That's a lot of flak. Return to the mother ship. There we go. So this thing's getting in close for some reason, and I don't know why. But I've told them to stop here. Gonna pull back. I've already got explosions there. Pulling back further. I'm gonna return these to normal aircraft operation. And there's the boarding. There's the boarding that we thought may happen. We've seen this previously as a boarding vessel, so we knew that that was on the cards. Hopefully, we can scare them off. Oh, them bite them. Them triplanes are ripping that to shreds. That's brilliant. Yeah, the triplanes, <laughs> the triplanes are chasing them down. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's amazing. I'm really happy with that. Right, aim fire for that. Aim fire for this. And the cannons will be firing at the defensive structure on the right-hand side. The red start I always found is 
it's an ore care vessel, and that's the best I can really describe it as. Oh, good grief, that's getting absolutely minced. So, I'm going to tell them to pull back the airplanes, because as you can see, the deck guns and the rifles have taken down at least two of them. So I want to bring them back. Get them healed up. That is captured. Looks like they've captured this as well. Interesting. I should hopefully get it back though. Going to move further forward. Going to get out the way of this thing. Don't think I can issue any boarding because I've got nothing to board with. Surprising they've captured that though. So all we need to do is destroy this thing now. We do have the ability to do that. <clears throat> I'm just going to reduce the service, uh, so, well, reduce the height on this one. I don't want to be hanging around further up in the sky when we've got a lot of leaking. So the question is, will we have to spin round? Yeah, we have to spin round. I think we have to defeat our own vessel. Which is going to be problematic. Are the rays still firing? Yes, but there's nothing much left. Flip round. A lovely view out the window here, Captain, one of them just said. <laughs> Normal aircraft operation. That thing doesn't have any anti-aircraft capability. And there's not much left to deal with now. Misfire, one of them just shouted. Whoa! There's a big explosion there. Ammunition's about to blow. Gas bag's going. This might be a very costly fight. And we're out of ammo with this thing. Completely out of ammo. Just gonna move it there. See how slow this thing is. Looks like this is burning. Massively. And now we're fighting our own vessel. Nothing much we can do. Don't have any board ship options. This thing is on fire and I know that it's got very little water. It's only got six water. So. Hmm. I think that's on. Yep, yeah, that's it on fire. That's it gone. It is captured, but it's fallen out the sky. There's no weapon on the front. That's it done. Let me flip this thing around just in case we have to fire on the right hand side. It's still firing. There's something left. There is a gun there, technically. <laughs> yeah, there is a gun there, technically. All glory belongs to us. Anyway, there we go. That is victorious. I uh, see we've just had a bluebird destroyed. Bluebird survived, red star survived, and the supply ship is there as well. That's give us 3,000 with reputation and things like that. So basically, nothing I'm too concerned with. Because we can build another two bluebirds. Which is exactly what we'll do. Alright, so. We have two other empires. A Sovereign, which we have a non-aggression pact against. We are loved. If we made an ultimatum of alliance or war, they will accept it. I'm sending that ultimatum. I can abandon it, in which case we'll lose three rep. However, they're almost certainly going to accept it. They have limited time to respond. Limited time to respond. And they've, uh, yeah, they've accepted the demands. Which means, now, that's the alliance. <laughs> There's only Almton at the top that is not in an alliance. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Good grief. Steel armor blast absorption. Okay. Well, it would be rude not to. Let's go ahead and design a ship because <laughs> we haven't done one we haven't designed a ship for a long time open the bluebird gonna remove that off the front end remove one of those coal stores we're gonna put in a it's a cargo bay there yeah we're gonna put in that and in terms of weapons heavy bombard two of that's going to go f further forward. 
five points there. Actually, we don't need to do that. Let me just to let's just have a quick look at the overlays of that's vertical drag, not great. Horizontal drag is pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So this is the SP Bluebird. Naturally, cancel. We're not gonna. Yeah, arm is the same. We're not gonna name it the same thing. So, what shall we name it? Mm, we don't have a blackbird. Let's have that. And save the design. Let's build one. And let's see what it's like against clockwork wasps. Almost certainly useless because... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to be versing Clockwork Wasps. Because um, those... You really need stuff to stop boarding. And... Hmm. Diplomatic offer from Omton. No, I'm not seeding anything. Let's build a ship. And we want to build... Oh, we can't. We want to build a goldfinch. Oh, no. Greenfinch. The greenfinch takes out wasps brilliantly. How much do we need for that? Build ship. It is... 1,500, call it. Yeah. Over here, then. These are all together. Do you want to try and first the clockwork cubes? They're so, so powerful. <laughs> uh, Titan blade weed. Like I say... It's the end of the series. Let's see if we, let's fight the Clockwork Wasps just for fun. When I say for fun, it's probably not going to work out too well for us, because I think the last time I fought one, I think it fired a laser and blew up in one shot a ship. So one could say that is quite powerful. Um. No, I'm not going to seed that. Build ship. The green finch. A.K.A. The anti-clockwork wasp solution system. <laughs> it really is. Prevent unrest. Increased unrest. Don't need to sabotage production because they're all friendly. <clears throat> Don't need to unrest there as well. So here we go. These are the three things. You have one with a tentacle. One with, I think it's like a... Well, we can't really see it properly there. But this one's the one I'm worried about. It's like a laser. So move this one. They're all going to move right back. Uh, I noticed that their service ceiling is quite high. I didn't realise it was that high. But these will move right back here. Nice terrain as well. Start the fight. There go the shots. They are targeting... Oh, that's got a saw blade. Right, yeah, that's the one I want to target. Target that thing with the laser. Um, but the other ones... Target that tentacle one. Ooh, dearie me. Dearie me, it's getting close. Oh, that's bad. That's all kinds of bad. <laughs> uh, let's move down there and flip. There's a saw blade one coming in as well. The thing is, these don't... As far as I can recall... They don't... Um, are we stuck on these things? We are. They're stuck. Yeah, they don't um, to really take much damage. They just essentially... They look like full health and then eventually it'll just stop. Ram to there, ram to there, ram to there. Yes, one of them's now gone. But this one will not move. It refuses to move. Why does this refuse to move? There we go. And I can't get off that either. We're certainly losing a lot of stuff here. Can I just ram back over there? Yeah, it's just stuck on that. Completely stuck. 
take direct control maybe. <laughs> this is people. This is where uh, now. Well, not do that. Um, there's a yeah. There's a, now a direct control thing that you can play with. It's pretty fun. Haven't really. Just, I'm disgusted. Just not sure. I think we've won. You know. I think we've got them. Yeah, that showed them. So the blue blood survived. So did the supply ship, but the red star was destroyed. However, that's give us a thousand research and three reputation. Pretty good, right? Hmm. Extra aeroplane HP. Or extra dodge. Hmm. Heavy turrets to go for fleet resupply speed. Automated supply systems. And let's bring these back over... Here. What are we doing over there? Not too bad. Ooh. Bearing hyperstroming and glazed pottery. <laughs> so, let's uh, have a fight with these wasps and see. And that'll be pretty much it. And then we'll have a quick chat with Olmton. Haven't fought the wasps here, but that's, you know, nothing. Once we fight these wasps, we've seen, we've seen them. Haven't fought the turtle doves, they've been wiped out. If you do that, you get, like, turtle shell armor, which has an innate ability to float. We're going to put our Gatling guns here. We're going to put this thing back there. Don't know what that's going to be like. The bombers obviously farther up here. Actually, I'm going to keep the bombers away because I want to see where they go. Whoa, look at that! So when that fired, I, mean, I love the kick off it. Boom, big shot. There's all the, oh, there's all the wasps. Right, let's just move then. Let's just move, move, move the boarding. Um, gonna have to move forward with that one. Yeah, definitely boarding. There's the bombers as well. Move this down. Let's move back over. Move back over. That's bored and I don't think it's gonna be under control for much longer. I'm just gonna tell it to ground. Oh, I love that. I love the kick on it. It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, um, so I'll move back. Again, move in for the clockwork wasps. This is getting boarded once again. Can we take out the clockwork wasp nest? Is the question. I'm hopeful. It's really strong, as you can see. Move to there. Move further in. Move further in. This is still moving. The crew is still fighting off the wasp nest. But I think that's going to be about it. Oh, there you go. So we're fighting... I thought that grip shot kind of shot the wasps there for a second. They're getting closer. There we go. There's the wasps. That's who we want to see. <laughs> and I think we're still in control of this now. That should be it. There we go. So, we're still in control of this. This can get closer now. Oh. Ran out of coal? Maybe? Possibly? It is possible. No. Don't know what happened there. Speaking of running out of coal, I'm going to say the Sparrowhawk was almost out of coal, but we managed to uh, survive it. There you go. Um, victory. I mean, fleet resupply speed would have been nice earlier. Good grief. Uh, extra research and extra reputation. We are, ni we are 95 reputation and indeed loved. There you go. Um, right, I think we're just going to have a quick diplomacy here, send delegation on, and gain two reputation, they gain one, which, uh, yeah, that's obviously gone through, and then make an offer. Would you like an alliance? They really don't want to do that, but it could offer tribute, which means they will accept. That's the first option. The other one is an ultimatum, alliance, or you go to war. Um, <laughs> that's 100% chance. Make an ultimatum, it's... Yeah, we could have been a bit more friendly about it, but basically we're trying to finish this off. And that will be a Vic and Terry. That's a victory. So that's conquered together. Let's look at the stats. So we're checking out territory taken. 
we are uh, Generican, so it's this one here. And obviously we all start on a fairly even footing. Looks like we had... Who's that? These guys. Corno. Took territory and then immediately just took a nosedive. Similar thing for Starbash. Cultists were around... Uh, oh, there's there's Rodino, which we took. And yeah, basically the, the alliances were just sort of steady, really. There's there's Dine. Which that's territory. So we took territory and we kept going. But realistically, Catwick and Dine didn't really take or lose much territory after about mid-game. Fleet strength. That is interesting. I didn't expect to have the highest fleet strength. And I know we had took a couple of dives there, as you can see. But we were really outclassing them towards the mid to late game. But then, I mean, look at Dine's fleet. It's just going right up. I mean, to be honest, I think income, yeah, we're much better than them anyway. So if we wanted to spool up that uh, <laughs> spool up that sort of money tree <laughs> in their factory, we could turn the crank and just kick out loads of ships. It wouldn't be a problem. This big dip that everybody took, that was probably during the, like, was it the Age of Heresy or something? Yeah, that's not ideal. Money. We had good stock. Tech. Oh, wow. We massively teched up. I think it's because we did steal a fair bit of tech. And also, we were in an alliance, which means we could trade technology. Well, not trade, but we were getting 40% bonus to it. Deaths. <sighs> not ideal there, is it? That's because we're always at war. Um, that's interesting. So, Alton. They've got second highest deaths, yet they had the smallest territory. I guess they were fighting everybody off. That's probably that's probably why. Anyway, we're going to leave that. And that has been Airships Conquer the Skies. A bit of the conquest mode. And indeed, a nice look at the diplomacy and co-op update. Um, I have actually played it co-op. And it pretty much works, as you see there, with a couple of changes and caveats so you can't pause um in the fights this is accurate as the time recording as far as i'm aware things may change in the future um you can co-op fight you just have to stack up um before going in so you can fight together in the same match you can build ships also uh, time controls yeah you can pause the game as well it's the only thing you can't like say do is uh, pause in the actual fight but yeah it is still very fun indeed either way that's been a bear ships conquer the skies next series is probably going to follow straight up. That was a bit of a teaser. I'm very keen to jump back in and try something new. Let me know what you think about that one. What you think we should do. I'm very tempted. <laughs> very, very, very tempted. To go for cultists. If I can find it in here. The worm eye. Unlocks cultist technology in victory. I'm very tempted by a cultist run. But there's lots of options for roleplay now do we play the good guy the bad guy do we turtle up do we play tall but not wide do we go high tier technology what sort of thing yeah what sort of thing would you like let me know in the comments see what sort of flavor we can come up with and as always we'll go from there thanks very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode in the series take care and generic partings